Hi guys! Here's a quick tutorial to show you how to add stitches to your marvelous designer clothes. So here we've got the basic outfit that comes with MD. And now to add some stitches along this part here, I'm simply going to click this button here. Or you could click this one here, but I'm going to click this one here. And then I'm going to load in a texture I made in Photoshop of three stitches. Open. Click where I want to position it. OK. And as you can see, we get the small three stitches. Now I want there to be many more than three stitches and to repeat all along the bottom here. We could copy and paste it, Control C, Control V, but that's not a good way to do it. So instead, I'm going to take my pattern transform tool and then just scale it up as wide as I need to go. Now you can see it distorts it, it stretches it out and that doesn't look at all what I want it to look like. So I'm going to take my Edit Texture tool, my Texture Transform tool, click once, and then use these arrows here to squish it. And because it's a repeating texture, you can see it's seamless. Now I'm going to make it even a bit smaller, and I also want it to be a bit smaller from the height, so I'll take my Pattern Transform tool again and squish it down. And there we've got seams stitches repeating along the bottom of this shirt. I'll show you one more example with a different seam texture. Here's a white line of stitches. You can't see it because it's white on a transparent background. So I'll double click that, click once again, and there you can see we get this line of stitches. And I'm going to scale it in the width a bit more. Something like that. Now, if you have white stitches, then you can always go into the Property Editor and tint them to be any color that you want them to be, to better match your clothes. You can even use the picker here and pick a color. Now, if you wanted to make a double stitch, I do not recommend that you copy and paste it, because even though it works in Marvelous Designer, when I exported it to Keyshot, it got all broken up because the faces, or whatever you call them, were overlapping and then there were all kinds of black broken up things. So instead of that, I made a texture which is not as tall. So we can click here to load in a different texture without having to delete it and load in it again and scale it up. It's called Crop Tighter. You can see here this is much wider and this is much less tall in the height. I'll double click that. Then I'll use my Texture Transform tool again, squish that down, and there you can see we're getting many seams. Now, they are a bit too many, I just want two, so I'll take my Pattern Transform tool again, squish this down to the height I want it to be, and now they got way too thin, so take our Texture Transform tool again, and just scale it up and position it until we have that double stitch running along there. Now, if you need to make stitches along curved edges of your clothes, then the best thing to do is download our free Photoshop stitch brushes on our site cgls.com. By the way, you can also download these seamless seams presets. And then make a screenshot of your clothing item, bring that into Photoshop, and use our stitch brushes to run a stitch along any shape edge that you want, or even to write I love you, or do a heart, or draw any kind of design that you want with stitches. So check out our free stitch brushes on cgelves.com. I hope this tutorial helps you.